honoring earth is like a constant tending, that it's not something that you just do and you walk away from, that it is a, um, a constant working with the elements and tending and honoring the earth like every day really to, um, to keep that relationship going. What I do to honor Earth is that I try as much as possible to educate people around the county about how important it is to change their practices in order to be more or better stewards of the land. I am a charter boat captain. We use a lot of sailboats. Uh, one of the ways that we feel we help uh, Mother Earth is that uh, sailboats uh, generally don't use motors, or at least not very often. And sailing is a pretty clean, environmentally clean activity. At home, I try and, and follow processes of, of using very little uh, pesticides or anything, uh, washing, powder, anything that may involve uh, a problem with the breakdown of our, our water and our ecosystem. So I recycle everything, any plastic we get, then for food, we recycle it. And I try to stay completely away from plastic bottles. I don't even buy plastic bottles. I will buy the bottles and fill it with water. We just are very careful in our uh, concession to make sure we don't add anything to the water that wasn't there to begin with. What did we learn about being good stewards of the tide pool? You, you shouldn't take anything home from tide pools because it could be so, something's home or something's home that you can't even see. I think that is the best way to honor the, and nurture the earth is to be connected to it, to understand how it all connects, to feel a part of it, and to benefit from it. Because when it is part of your soul, then you know what you're protecting. I chose a career in parks. I've worked for national parks and state parks because I love getting people out in nature and gain a stewardship and an ownership for the earth. And when you love it, you'll try to take care of it. I think the best way for us to honor our earth is to think sustainably. Personally, grow my own food. I have a worm farm for composting the waste. And cook for yourself. Stop eating fast food. It's just poisoned. <laughs> well, I love this world that we live in. I love the ocean. I love the plants. I volunteered on whatever organizations I can so we can save our world and I'll save lots of water. I honor Earth primarily by trying to leave her alone, but also by uh, m making a real effort to recycle all the things that can be recycled and to uh, be careful about. Uh, you know, not fertilizing my lawn and washing my car outside of a car wash and so on and so forth. It's just great. Nature will take care of you. I believe we should save the earth because she supports all of us. And she gives us water, she gives us earth, she gives us things to grow in, she gives us things to swim in and uh, climb on, and uh, without that we wouldn't have a human spirit. Well, I'm John Stevens, and my wife Elaine and I have the Open Gate Farm here on Camino Island. We've been here 10 years, and the way that we have honored the earth is to, to really work at creating an environment here which will encourage people to come and encounter the earth and encounter life and encounter the fruits of the earth so that they can understand their relationship with the soil and with the earth and the importance of the soil and the earth for their living and their quality of life. 
Lolly, and I want to talk to you about soil, not dirt, soil. These are our homeowners. Erica Loco. And I'm Jerry Kennedy. They have brought nothing into this sandy soil, but look at this, and there's this is their vegetable patch, and look how it's holding the water, and it's rich and dark and just marvelous. And you can see, but there are hair roots growing just all over in this stuff. It's magnificent, just gorgeous. But they have done it. This has been ordinary sand, south end, and they have just enhanced it into a growing soil that is unbelievable. Thank you. We had the intention of maintaining as much of the natural surroundings as we could. So we have removed very few trees from our property. Most of our trees that are here are older trees and we have no intentions of taking them out. We're going to keep them. Cama Beach Resort, the, the state park here at Cama Beach, all of the, uh, the light bulbs in the park are of course compact fluorescent bulbs. We've got low flow water fixtures, we've got uh, power saving devices in the cabins that uh, monitor movement and can shut down the heat system when it's unoccupied. Um, one of the things that uh, I'm proudest of, of electric vehicles here at the park, and uh, we have six different electric vehicles that uh, we use for daily maintenance, for transporting people around, uh, and parks are a perfect place for that, so it's a great opportunity to employ some technology to cut down the amount of fuel we're using.